The senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance, is leading the fight to break up Google's AI generator because it is lying about American history and changing the answers to historical references. It is misleading tens of millions of Americans, and Senator Vance wants the company broken up. Congress has started to investigate Google's AI bias. Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio is leading the charge. If you go into Google's AI function and ask for pictures of Nazis or whatever, you get whoever they decide is a Nazi in a Nazi uniform and yeah. on and on and on. And they, and this Republican, J.D. Vance, wants to break up Google because he said they are literally creating a narrative that is made up in Google headquarters. This is yep. the guy, very brave uh, senator from Ohio. That's J.D. Vance. Okay. He says the images created by this model are completely unacceptable. Uh, the AI service is called Gemini. They're creating inaccurate historical images that replace white people with black people or white people turn into Native Americans or white people turn into Asians. He said that Fox News said rather, they've tested Gemini multiple times. And when they asked the Gemini program to show a picture of a white person, you ready for this? This is what Gemini said. <laughs> Cannot fulfill your request as it reinforces harmful stereotypes and generalizations about people based on race. Wow. But you can get black people, wow. Asian people, and Latino people, but not white people. I mean, these people feel so emboldened to discriminate. They have no issues with discriminating. And you know, they always discriminate against white people, Barry, because they find it easy to do it. Because if you discriminate against black people, then the NAACP, uh, SBLC, uh, Univision, probably, you know, CNN, ABC, all of them, they will come. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. They're discriminating against people of color. Right? But now they're making white people people of color. Yeah. Yeah. They're, and they're doing it to change history. People. Yeah. Because yeah. because students and kids are using it to find out information and they're they're changing the history, changing this. And because a lot of these kids don't even know the history and they're seeing the, this, these images for the first time, believing it. Because why would Google lie to them? Well, that's the point. Google doesn't lie, except <laughs> when it does. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>